Hello, my name's Christian. I'm a Salt Lake based artist and I'm going to take you with me as I do a painting for a friend. Join me. Today I'm starting on Todd and Zucka's painting. Right, Bootsy? Gotta have a cat around when you're painting. They bring you luck. First we're gonna put a little gesso on this canvas. I'm preparing that right now. You want to give the canvas a good coating of something just to cover up all that raw canvas. You can use gesso or just some paint, but it's a good idea to coat the entire canvas with something and then begin. In this case, I chose a nice light blue. Reminds me of skies and clouds and stuff. It's just kind of a, a nice place for me to start when I'm dreaming about what I'm seeing in my child's mind. Okay, now I'll go around to the sides. This is kind of where we're at. It just kind of started coming out of nowhere. So, we're going to go with it. That circle right there is one of the few things that's going to remain throughout the course of this entire painting. <laughs> the painting changes several times and uh, that circle just tends to make it through. Got to have some round stuff in there. And I see that circle as a planet right now. And this is some kind of science, science fiction landscape that's coming out of it in my head. I'm trying to get some uh, atmospheric perspective going. Well, now we kind of took a, tra a drastic turn. So Whoa. we're going to try a different approach. We're the black we put sky the yellow down. line in there to kind of create a sort of horizon line feel. Do a little palette knife work right through here. Now we're going to apply some brilliant blue. I really enjoyed this part of the painting. These blue swabs that I make with the palette knife kind of come out to be sort of a Jetson cartoon cloud in my mind. I just enjoyed the way that felt. I'd like to explore more of that color palette right there. There you have it. Now we're to this point, we put some kind of waves and swirls and stuff down. There. Well, and now we're to this point. From that, became that. The real basic foundation for what's going on. I could have stopped right here. That's where we're at right now. Now we're kind of moving into a little further uh, color studies and kind of abstract imagery. You've got to have coffee. Lots of coffee. It's I did a lot of this painting go. in the morning. And from that to this. This is where we're at right now. I've got tilted on its side and just kind of moving along and really going along in my mind there. Imagination's having a lot of fun with it. Some pink waves. all my stuff. It is a good idea to flip the canvas over and look at it in many different directions. This I'm moving along nicely. Here's where I'm at on day three. Mike what? Um, working my way through it, uh, kind of battling uh, doing literal things versus abstract things and there's kind of a teetering between the two styles. But I'm enjoying the color study and just trying to work out that balance. Bootsy! When you're painting, stop and pet your cat or your dog. It settles your nerves, helps you relax. If you're being tense while you stand there or sit there, kind of helps you return to a childlike bliss. And then you're loose. It's good to have a cat around when you paint. Yep. You gotta kind of flop the cat over your arm so that he's like a leopard <laughs> hanging on a tree limb or something. She looks like a puppet. A Muppet cat. <laughs> yep. As of Monday, this is where we are. That circle I frosted. So I've been working on this since Friday.
And it's Monday. Thick green swabs up there. This is where we're at on Monday. Still working along, making it for Todd and Zelka. Just kind of evolves. Done a couple of things there, uh, working to resolve some of this, and I'm really excited about making the balloon so that people can sail around the world in a, in a balloon. balloon. This is where we left off last time. It's now Tuesday. Um, it's kind of taking a brown tone. The texture. I gotta work on some resolve here. A lot of texture. But this is where we're at, so uh, keep an eye out and we'll see where we end up. I'm taking bronze paint and a sea sponge and kind of tricking out the border. Yep. We've got a color palette that Interior I design. try to use to sort of match the colors that are going on in his living room. So I'll just kind of layer these colors in here and hopefully get close to the vibe I'm trying to get. I'm doing this piece for Todd and Carrie Hanzelka. They saw the little love things I did and wanted to commission me to do a piece and that's what I'm doing right now. Pretty cool. There's my space city. house in the clouds, and the beginning of a barn, the city is just be developing, the fields are there, some tractor pulling, all my stuff. There's the city again, they got some black outlines on the buildings, a bit, a little house in the clouds, I'm digging that. Kind of working on some craziness down there in the left corner. Barnes evolving, taking shape. The circle is still there, untouched. It's next Sunday, the 23rd, and this is where I've made it so far. It's mutating as I go along. It's now Tuesday, August 25th. So I've been working on this just a little over a week in between doing everything that I have to do. Um, pretty happy about all this stuff right now. I've just got to kind of resolve some of these areas down here. And I'd like to resolve this sky a little bit more. I want to get maybe some rain in there. And this kind of abstract cityscape I'm pretty happy with, but it needs to have a few little, maybe different color lights or something. And then I'm going to work on some space up in here, I think. So it's not really an abstract painting anymore. <laughs> it's kind of turned into something else. Kind of. <laughs> Oh, so, more coffee. This number five stands for Henzelka and his wife and his three kids. And I envision on this little rocket ship right here that the five of them could be seated in the rocket ship looking out those windows. And I envision this is the home right here so far. Trying to work out, you know, figure out how to resolve that. The home. And this just kind of reminds me of my childhood out in the sticks, out in Maine, and stuff potato like that. Fields. farms and stuff like that. Yep. And then all this stuff on the edges is just, you know, trying to do some more abstract stuff and just get some metallic patinaed looking copper right on the edges. But I'll be working on it a little more today, so we'll see where we end up. I'm getting close to finishing it. I feel like Resolve is coming soon here. A lot of paint, a lot of paint. Um, some glossy medium as well. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. 